Imagine rebuilding your life after Ike with the help of more than $20,000 in FEMA aid. Now imagine the agency telling you three years later it wants its money back, and then some. One LaPorte man doesn't need to imagine he's living it. Unlike most of us, Clay Gates prays for drought. But just in case, he's digging a ditch to keep his garage dry. Not having any rain this drought was a blessing. Uh, every time it rains, we're about to sandbag and pack, and oh, it's crazy. After Gates' home took four or five feet of water from Hurricane Ike, he applied for assistance from FEMA. Says he showed them every document they asked to see. We got a letter saying, hey, you qualified for this amount of benefits, and the next thing you know, they direct deposited money in our account. About $23,000. Figuring out what would fit and what wouldn't fit. Clay Gates says he was frugal with this gift from the government. We've done all the sheetrock, we've done all the painting, we've done everything ourselves. So we could at least use the money the best we could to get ourselves back up at the square. They're still not there, but now, three years later, FEMA wants its money back, saying Clay Gates was ineligible for assistance all along. We're figuring we're going to lose our home, we're going to lose everything we have. We don't know what to do. Gates appealed, but on September 24th, FEMA sent this letter demanding the return of $22,989.54. Six days later, the U.S. Treasury Department sent this letter saying Clay Gates now owes $31,442.60, including fees, interest, and penalties, and giving him 10 days to pay it. 10 days to pay it, or, or they're going to take more. Try it. 10 days are up Monday? Right. Try it. You have the money? No. Oh. If I had the money, I would have never asked for help. In all, FEMA is working to recoup more than half a billion dollars from about 160,000 applicants who received improper disaster assistance payments over the past six years. Now, some of that is fraud, but some was erroneously paid out to people like Clay Gates, who says he finally got someone at FEMA to admit it was their mistake in the first place. And I asked her, I said, don't you see that there, this is wrong? She said, yes, but it's too late. It's already at the IRS too late. My hands are I can't do anything about it. Now, FEMA will not uh, discuss Gates's case specifically, but says it's required by law to recover money that was paid out improperly, regardless of whose fault it was.